had excellent weather down there at Turf Moor and this afternoon here at Valley Parade Kevin Russell for Burnley Paul Schauler, the former Barnet man, whips that crossing first time chance for Bradford City oh, fine challenge by Les Thompson superb defensive work by the Burnley number three danger not cleared though, on the edge of that penalty area Adrian Heath back defending, Ayres Number four, Lee Duxbury for Bradford City. Russell. The Rooster once more for the Clarets. Ford. Ford. Again for Bradford City. Long searching cross. Cries a foul from the Bradford City fans as the referee pointed to the spot. Looks like it. Looks like in this second minute we have a penalty for Bradford City. Well, it looked like a shove on that far side. Adrian Heath remonstrating with the referee. Looks like it'll be number 10, Gary Williams, for Bradford City to take this spot kick. The sun a little blinding. As I... Referee Crookshanks doesn't like the position of the ball, asking Williams to replace it. I'm sure the Burnley supporters behind that goal will do everything to put number 10 Gary Williams off, as Williams comes up with this penalty. Oh, superb save! Away to his left by Marlon Beresford. Down to his left. Superb save by the Burnley goalkeeper. Well, that's brought loud cheers from behind that Burnley goal. Two minutes on the clock. Burnley nil, Bradford City nil, a save on, on the two minutes by Beresford from number 10, Gary Williams. Mornington quickly into the action, Davis. Trying to find Ayres. Unfortunately for David Ayres, he slipped there. As Peel brings Burnley clear once more. Deary, centre field, Heath. Pender. Few a few boos from the City contingent behind that Bradford goal as Skipper Pender ushers that ball back to Marlon Beresford. Peel, nicely off to Heath, chances for Burnley. Chance for Burnley, chance for Heath. A superb strike by Hadrian Heath. Right on ten minutes. Gives the score down here at Valley Parade. Bradford City nil, Burnley one. A fine first-time ball from Nathan Peel, releasing Adrian Heath on the edge of that penalty area. Skips round the Bradford City defender, draws Ian Bowling in the Bradford City goal, and cool as you like, slips the shot past the Bradford City goalkeeper to give Burnley a one-goal advantage. Ten minutes on the clock, it's Bradford City nil, Burnley one. Well, memories of Stockport County is Burnley's camp. As Beresford kicks long, trying to find Peel. Good nod on from Peel, finds Russell. Infield to Heath. What will Inchy do on the edge of this penalty area? Good skills by the Burnley number nine. Wins Burnley's first corner, I think. As we are midway through this first half. First corner for the Clarets. Ayres with this kick. Randall. Ayres. First time cross. Oh, flapping there. Chance for Davis. Still danger for Bradford as Heath pumps that ball in once more. Snapshot from John Pender on the edge of that penalty area. Looked like it took a deflection. Well, was it goal bound? Burnley skipper raises his eyes to heaven he may have thought so as he sent that snapshot in on the edge of that penalty area all that will result in a corner to Burnley to be taken by Andrew Randall Mark Monington right up there with the Burnley attack header on oh what a superb save right on his line by Ian Bowling as that header from Mark Monington came in maybe things going the Clarets way this afternoon at the Valley as they lead by a goal to nil. First points on the board, let's hope so. 
for Burnley Football Club in this 1993-94 campaign as Randall can he make it two for Burnley oh a similar shot to which he had around 10 minutes ago as he was put through that fine ball by Adrian Heath releasing the Burnley number six as he stole into the city penalty area unfortunately for the Clarets he screwed his shot wide of that left hand post Dugsbury first time crossed by Lawford small defensive play by Davis still danger for Burnley well perhaps my watch was a little wrong as we have 90 minutes on the clock it's joy for Burnley And the viewers have seen some great action so far, especially at home. Why do you feel you've been so formidable at Turf Moor? Well, obviously, I mean, the signings I made in the summer have made a big difference to us. You know, when you've got people like Kevin Russell and uh, Warren Joyce, you know, and David Ayres, who are all attack-minded players, they're all flair players, and they give you that little bit of extra dimension going forward. And I'm thinking the natural thing about a, 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 a team like ours is that uh, we can't sit back uh, at home. Uh, because obviously the, the great support that we have, they expect us to win every game, and we, you know, we have a we have a duty to try and win every game at home. As well as enjoying some great moments at Turf Moor, the viewers have also witnessed one or two defeats away from home. Why was it at the start of the season that you couldn't translate that great home form into results and points away from home? Well, I've been asked that question a dozen times, dozens and dozens of times, and uh, I don't really have uh, you know, the right answer. Uh, the only thing I would say is that uh, possibly. Um, we were probably a little bit too much attack-minded away from home early doors uh, to continue our, so hopefully, try and continue our home form away from home. And sometimes you've got to say, well, OK, then, you know, that's not the ploy. And uh, we've changed it a little bit away from home. And fortunately, at this moment in time, we've, we've, we've picked up a little bit of uh, luck and uh, picked up one or two good results. How much soul-searching went into getting it right away from home since Bradford You've never really looked back, you've had some good points and you're now confident going out onto the field away from home. You've altered it slightly in the shape and formation away from home, but how much thinking went on to actually get it right? Well, obviously a lot of thinking went on. Um, there wasn't a day went by without, you know, you're taking your thoughts home with you, with, you know, you sat there with your family having a meal and, you know, the, the only thing that's on your mind is, you know, when, when you've got an away game coming up, you suddenly say to yourself, well, you know, how are we going to get it right this time? And uh, I made one or two changes. Uh, uh, both positional wise and also personnel wise and uh, as I say touch wood uh, we've, we've, we've done well since we've done, since 